Just before this video starts, I'd like to let people know that the mic quality in this video isn't going to be good, so um, hopefully you guys will be able to forgive that. Also, there's going to be an abundant amount of stuttering in this video, considering that this is going to be a reaction video, so um, please forgive me for that as well, and uh, without further ado, I shall let the video start. Hey, 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 everyone. It's Aryan here. And today, I'm going to be doing a bit of a special video here. Uh, not something that I usually do on this channel, because today I am going to be doing a reaction video that will be kicking off a series called Shitcom, named after the paragon of anime storytelling, of course. <laughs> Judging by the title, it's X-Arm, specifically the first episode. Now, for do those who are unaware of it, um, or I guess like the anime, or to be specific, the controversy surrounding it. It is a 2021 sci-fi cyberpunk anime that has an adaptation of the seinen manga of the same name. Recently, it has gotten quite a lot of backlash, notably for how poor looking the animation quality is when shown in recent trailers like this. And it's without a doubt understandable as to why people felt this way. After all, it is said that the staff involved in the anime have pretty much no experience in doing anime, especially the director, as he's only worked on live-action films but still felt like working on the anime regardless, even though the live-action to anime translation that X-Arm aimed for may have not worked all too well. Another thing I'd like to note is the overwhelming amount of comments that compared the anime to a beginner SFM, and I thought to myself, Huh. What if I could bring someone who has experience in doing SFM animations to come along and react to this anime with me? Joined with me today is none other than Mr. Sparky himself, who goes by name of uh, Sparky Games on YouTube. Um, may you introduce yourself? Hey, what's up? Yeah, like a bit of an introduction as to who you are. Oh, I'm Sparky. Okay, <laughs> very formal. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm a, a 3D animator. Uh, yeah, I've right. been doing it for about eight years now, so a uh, fair bit of experience. I use Source Filmmaker and Blender. Yeah. While getting him on a video like this is for sure going to make a good title, you know, like SFM Animator Reacts to X-Arm, it's of course not the only reason why I have him here. The reason why I have him here is because I'd like to hear what his criticisms of the animation are. After all, you do have experience in using a Source Filmmaker and Blender, like you said in your introduction. It is a very apparent thing, especially considering that a majority of your videos on your channel are pretty much SFM animations, some of which I've watched and enjoyed quite a bit. So, just to ask you, um, what are your expectations for this? Uh, basically, not much. I mean, you know, I, I haven't watched anything of it yet. I haven't seen anything of it yet. The only thing I see right now is Battle 01. So I'm thinking Evangelion. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a blind reaction for you, just to let you know. On the other hand, I have watched this episode already, and I am aware of how much of an abomination it is. On the other hand, um, you aren't aware. So nope. um, without further ado, let's just jump straight into this reaction video. One thing I, I would okay, pause the video. One thing I just want to note is that throughout the entire episode, just to let you know, not a single um, a, a bit of emotion are, is shown on the like characters, it's just basically lip moving. We'll see. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, pause for a sec. Pause for a sec. Reminds me Bro, of. Uh... I gotta love. I gotta love how poorly placed the effects are. There's not even like a moment of like. Li There's not even like any like light source or anything coming from it that like makes it look as if it's part of the environment. That is something that you notice, right? Or are there like any other details that you could like? Because out? it looks like the uh, background is. Uh, probably drawn in this frame unless I, I mean it's moving so fucking fast I can't really track it she got her iPod out 
Is that what that white little string is? Oh my god, wait, I did not notice that whatsoever. Well, I suppose she has her iPod out. I don't know what the technology is exactly like, but I mean, if we still have people in 2030 still using iPods, then I I'd be impressed. Uh, I mean, like, what? another thing I'd like to point out is how poorly placed the effect is. Like, they don't even have it, like, it, like you know, increase whatsoever. It doesn't, like, it's so, all zooming in. With this effect, my, my biggest gripe would be... Um, on something that you have a, uh, that's a particle effect that's, like, meant to be, like, it looks like it's meant to be, like, a ball of plasma or, like, a ball of energy or something like that. I personally don't believe you should ever lower the opacity on something like that, or you should, um, have it fade. Now, if, if something is meant to be emitting energy and you have it be pure white, but, like, just barely not pure white, I think that looks bad, in a sense. Yeah. Oh my god, they've, they're like, okay, pause there, pause for a sec. They just zoomed in on a PNG and they didn't upscale it. The thing is that, like, the backgrounds in this anime, like, just to let you know, the backgrounds in this anime are just poorly done. There's either one that, which is like, it looks as if it was grabbed from Google Images and then later they decided to have, like, I, I don't know, like, just have it a bit dark. Another thing I would like to note, although I guess it just, I guess it appears in just like the later, ep like the later moments, um, is that the, there was a background that was used and the only thing that was applied to it was just Gaussian blur. I'll, I'll see it. Exactly. That is the most noticeable thing. Pause for a second. Like. The one, the, one of the most apparent things that, that people have already pointed out, especially uh, like a fair YouTuber of mine who goes by name of the Anime Man, he even pointed out of how just jarring the contrast between the 2D art and the, the CGI is, you know? Okay, I'm watching the first episode. Look at this shit. Look, look at this shit. Look at this shit. He's in 3D. He's in 2D. What? 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 It's like... It's like two different anime just like etched together. What? What? <laughs> you know, the thing is that like, I don't mind the blend of 2D art and CGI in shows like Dorhadora or Beastars. Have you watched like Dorhadora or Beastars, any of them? I've seen footage from some. Also, this frame right here we're paused on should be your thumbnail. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna have to just take a screen. I mean, like, the thing is I've already made a thumbnail for myself. But I'm, I'm gonna try integrating into the- I'm That's just gonna try uh, making another one regardless. Yeah, pause for a sec, pause for a sec. Like, when they're, like, showing, like, the- wait, here the thing is that the difference between, like, the manga and the anime is that in, like, the manga, the, he, it, like, the, like, you know, the protagonist who's, like, shown to, like, you know, be cooking the rice seems to have much more of a vibrant expression. But here, he's just having, like, this continuous expression. And, that I, like I said, it's a very consistent thing here. Yeah. Were there also any other, like, details that can be worth pointing out? Um, I mean, that the animation was clearly on a loop. It didn't really follow some of the animation principles it was kind of stiff looking like i mean the thing is that it was I, it was like the byproduct of like you know the staff having no experience in anime and yeah. the thing is that like, I, I i i did not understand as to why there is the need for just like super super like fluid cgi and to like the 2d art like what's the point like i mean like did they not even take into account about how and uh, take into account how jarring it would be or did they just rush this out like there's going to be like 12 episodes of this <laughs> also i, I want to pause for sex like, the thing is that there's also, I, I don't know, but there's a little bit of a difference between, like, the lighting of the two characters. That is kind of noticeable, right? Well, I mean, yeah, the, the light 
would have to the light source would have to be in the direct center between them because uh, the light the shadows on the left man's face is going towards the left side of the camera and on the right guy it's towards the right so unless the light source is literally right in between them then that kind of lighting is not possible I mean, like, what I wanted to actually just point out instead was how there's just a bit of a subpar quality to the lighting, you know? Especially, uh, like, in a particular frame of, like, the when they showed, like, the CGI of, like, the protagonist, you know? When he was doing the pog face. Yeah. Pause for a sec. You know, the thing is that, like, when they're, when they're, like, going through, you know, about, like, what, like, this is a moment in where I'm supposed to be kind of engaged in, like, you know, what they're talking about. But in reality, I just honestly do not give a shit, mainly because of how, like, I, I, I know it's a, a bit of a, a bit of a nitpicking, nitpicky criticism to make. But, I mean, like, you know, considering that's based on how I felt about, like, the trailer and all and my expectations for the animation quality. But... Come on, at least it, at least have your CGI be good. I'd like to say, um, I don't think bad animation is ne necessarily a death sentence. I think, I think as long as your story, voice acting, and such is good enough, that it can carry bad animation. But what I'm seeing so far is pretty stale in the voice acting and writing department. But I mean, it is also in another language, so I don't obviously no mm -hmm. I, mean, I think i'm kind of, i might be a little bit biased here like i said you know it, it i think it just has to do more with how i felt about the trailer but all right <laughs> oh my god like this this is like so confusing wait pause for a sec pause for a sec this is so confusing because oh. the thing is that what like the anim like what's shown here is that it like you know the protagonist is supposed to be going to his right side you know we see that like he's walking by and that you know he ha he's not focused or anything he's think like you know thinking more about like what his what's like some like his brother told him all right but he's like it, like it's shown that he's supposed to be going to his right side yet for some reason it still looks as if he's going straight so, forward like here so the idea is there that the character is walking right to left the idea being when the camera switches now he's walking left to right as in like he's changed his trajectory and he's gonna go and help uh, they mm -hmm. just they made it look very confusing because they didn't establish an establishing shot would have helped a lot because they should have established the uh environment first before doing that and therefore when they break the 180 degree rule it kind of looks confusing and spatially unaware and i guess another thing i'd like to point out is again the lighting here just looks just feels incredibly weird it's not like as if they're part of like the darkish environment that's shown here you know it's like almost as if they're like the lighting of all the characters just remains the same yeah okay i kind of liked that move that was kind of neat i'll give it that wait hey, um pause pause like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I mean, I do get what you're trying to say here. I mean, after all, like, there are, uh, like, moments where, like, are, there are particular moments in where, you know, the fight scene kind of looks a bit decent. But here's the thing. The, the way the move, the camera movement is just feels like something from a beginner SFM. Well, I, well the, the thing is, camera in this, I, I don't see that. But the, the that's because I, I practiced a lot. The camera in source filmmaker interpolates frames in a specific way and that was that gives it its distinct look this just looks like they have a 3d camera and they kind of want to swing it around and stuff yeah that's what it that's what it strikes out to me you know to be is specific my, my biggest problem honestly is that she's kind of hard to see despite it being a dark blue background or it should be they give these areas of brightness towards the the bottom and stuff 
where she kind of blends in because she's like solid white it looks like and then there's this like very bright area in the background <laughs> I also think that they're missing out on something important. Pause. Uh. So I think they're missing out on uh, one of the main benefits of being in 3D, and that is that you can do your own lighting and coloring with very little effort. So you look at all these guys, and you look at their skin tones and her skin tones and the color of their outfits and everything, and surely they should be the same kind of dark blue as the backgrounds because it's all being lit in this dark blue area but they aren't they're just normal skin tones as if the color of the light doesn't affect them at all there are like a lot of problems that are worth pointing out like you know with the live action to, to like you know f uh, the live action to anime translation that was attempted here you know mm -hmm. i mean i understand like the thing is that at the very least I understand that, like, as, as to, like, you know, why the director would, like, you know, go for this. But the end result, either way, is going to kind of, fe if going to, like, end up feeling a bit flawed, you know? There's also, like, the Ruby, there's also, like, the Ruby comparisons as well, except that Ruby, in comparison to this, is just well, much better. <laughs> Story-wise, Ruby is not very good, but you, you can never take away the fact that, at least in the first three seasons, the fight scenes were fucking kick-ass. <laughs> Oh my god. Is that, is, that, is that like green screen pause. fire 1080p? Pause, pause. Is that like uh, the one uh, one re recurring thing in this episode is that there noticeably there's like these effects that are integrated which look like they're uh, like a they're, they're like you know green screened onto it, you know. Fire <laughs> literally goes over the pole which doesn't make much mm -hmm. sense. Yeah, it's that. kind of like the same thing with like a particular Arab in the trailer, like in where like the pole was o over something or the like. I mean, like I don't, I don't know what exactly the error was. Exactly the error was. I'm not gonna really go bo bother going back, but I mean, here I'm just gonna try placing a side note in this video. Side note time. So what I was trying to say was that there was a part a similar moment in the X Arm trailer in where there was a pole under uh, an object. I think it was particularly a truck. Um, but uh, based on what I've checked, I I, I think it is a truck. Um, so uh, yeah, d d just just to correct myself. Oh my God! Pause. Like, it, and like, re remember when I t when I told you about how you know, there's like no emotions, like when you know, like in the expressions whatsoever. Yeah. This is a prime example. I I was also almost imagining facial expression where there was none because the voice actor was telling me I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Please, ah, I'm scared. Kind of thing. Yeah, uh, exactly. But the eyes are just like. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, you know, you 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 talk like the amateur source filmmaker fellows, but in every almost every an amateur source filmmaker I've seen, they do at least make the characters emote. At like particular points, like the voice acting, like doesn't like kind of just like the lip syncing is like off, like sometimes just off point. You know, it at times it just isn't consistent with the voice oh, acting. I, I, I thought that was just because the screen share is a little bit behind or something. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, oh my god. Pause. Like, the thing is that there's like this the movement of the mirror, which just felt so, like just it just felt like a really jarring to look at, you know? Like, with how the like, you know, it, it didn't feel consistent. That is something worth noticing. Or were there other details that are like that are we're pointing out? Um, I mean, not particularly, nothing new. Or... Mm -hmm. Other than the like the mirror part, it, it just it just looks so weird. Oh 
my god. Vaughn. <laughs> 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 like, like, with ha the, like, the, this is also shown later at a, shown at a later point, but my god, the, the way they had, like, the bullets just try, like, like, conveyed as if they're, like, going through is just so poorly done. That, I, that is... I thought they were passing through his hand at first, as if, like, he's, like, uh -huh. Danny Phantom ghosting. I yeah, I thought there was like some force field, which you know later like turned the bullets into nothing or something. But it turns out it was like oh, going through to his body. Like there was, there was a, it was like a, I thought, but I thought that was the case like initially when I saw that. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, okay, pause there. Pause there. Well, like, I mean, before I was kind of like uh, feeling the urge to just like pause about like how about the shadowing here. But okay, but the one thing I just want to say is that this was like, uh, like I remember like seeing so many tweets about how just awfully d done this was. <laughs> why? Why is she smiling? Oh my god. I swear, like she, she even smile. Okay, like I'm, I'm just gonna say it, but um, uh, she even smiles when she gets captured by the, by the dude. No, 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 <laughs> like, man, I'm sorry, man. She's supposed to kind of, she's supposed to have a stern look. <laughs> Which one? But, I, oh my god, like, the first thing that came to mind was, she, like, just, like, the T-pose she was doing, like, like, I could just joke about how she's just, like, asserting her dominance. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's literally what she's trying to do, though. She's literally trying to, like, halt the way. Yeah, but I don't know, just the way it looked. <laughs> Fair enough. Why is she smiling? Hey, pause, pause. She into it? The fuck? Oh my god, BDSM moment. It's almost as it's almost as if it's implying that. Like, I mean, it's a matter of animation, not story, of course. But <laughs> just the way they had, like have her just smiling, just just shows how, like, you know, there's like this lack of effort being put into trying to at least have proper, like, you know expressions i mean you can have the cgb shit but at least not to the point in where she's smiling <laughs> well, i mean there's always a reason for things it's it's probably more a reason of uh time or budget or something like that it, it strikes to me as something that was rushed yeah d definitely Yeah, pause for a sec. You know when like the villain was like putting like you know his finger through like you know the girl's stomach. Apparently that that part was actually censorship. It wasn't a matter of like you know oh like you know it's passing through her or anything. Apparently there was supposed to be blood. And again, I'm gonna have to correct you. Unfortunately, apparently when I went through a chapter two of X Arm, there was act the reason behind the censorship was actually because there was booba in it, resulting in like you know the scene being censored. Uh, it wasn't actually a matter of gore. It was actually a matter of Ichi. Also, has there been, is there anything else that's like worth pointing out that you noticed? Uh, other than continued stiff animation, uh. Not sure. Hurry up and get inside of me. Oh my god. I want this anime to hurry up and finish. It's just the motion. Oh my god, that was so quick. Wait, what? <laughs> that was confusing as hell. Wait, Wait pause. Did they get out? And it, like the thing is that what they were trying to convey convey was that you know they're like trying to convey that you know how she like immediately uh, you know uh, rescue uh, like Alma after, but the way it was done was just just felt poor. Like <laughs> also, what, what what are your thoughts on that fight scene? 
I'm confused as to like what so can he see in slow motion or something because just because you can think of a fucking kung fu moves doesn't mean you can perform them mm. I mean it, yeah. it, it, it's just I mean if you could see in slow motion which is kind of what I was getting from the vision like the eyes glowy may, then sure you can block all that stuff and do all that like if you could see in slow motion you could easily block and counter and all that stuff I mean, I asked that question animation wise, but okay. Uh, oh, uh, animation wise, the animation was okay, but the uh, m the camera work is really what's undoing a lot of this because it's like it, it's constantly cutting and spinning, and the the animation is very hard to follow. Mm -hmm. I I guess it's kind of like uh, maybe a matter of editing, you know. Yeah. Metal Gear Rising, baby. <laughs> pause, pause for a fucking sec. Pause for a sec. Holy shit, bro! Like the the awkwardness of the scene. It's just like the it's the fact that like, they they do the same sort of effect in Yu-Gi-Oh all the time, except yeah. The the difference being that in when in Yu-Gi-Oh they do it. So Yugi will be like, I don't know if I could do this, Pharaoh. And Pharaoh will come out and be like, Yugi, no worries. You can do it. Just believe in the heart of the cards. And so it's not really <laughs> awkward. It's just like, but for that, he just didn't say anything. So I'm, I'm wondering why. Yeah, what was the, what was the point? Like, I, 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 it might be a little bit of a nitpicky criticism, but that felt a little, little bit long. Yo, that's like a Neil Breen cut. Yeah, exactly. I was going to fucking say that. Neil Holy Breen shit. Cut. Yeah, it's it's like kind of like you know those scenes in the Neil Breen films and where you know there's like the fading effect, you know, like when an object disappears or when you know Neil Breen like this. It kind of just shares the same energy as that. Oh, that's me. I want to set that as my Twitter profile picture and just be like, leave me alone, don't talk to me. So, um, what did you think? Uh, I'm not gonna watch episode two. Of course you're not going to watch episode two, but, like, uh, just another thing I was, ho I was wanting to say. Apparently, this is, like, the lowest rated TV series on MAL, as of now. Like... It has apparently a score of like around 2.30. I don't know if it has reached lower, but like the, the, the fact that it had reached that, it, it like immediately became the lowest rated TV series is hilarious. But I don't know. Do you think it's deserving of the score? No, I think there's definitely worse. I've seen worse. I have seen worse too, but like, I mean, like taking the taking it into account the context of like you know cr like what Crunchyroll does, especially with Jibbe, which I was like wanting to like you know also bring up as well. There was a show I, I reviewed back on my channel uh, called Jibbe, and it, like it is also like it's kind of like you know X Arm, but not like you know like the thing is that you know that like you know what can be said about the two anime is how terrible the animation qualities of them are. Like you. Know, the the thing with the Crunchyroll originals is that like the qualities of them just kind of awry, you know. And I guess personally for me, there is yet to be like a Crunchyroll original that can like you know make me have like a, a positive, a strong positive impression of. But um, like here, there are Crunchyroll originals like this out there, which like leave a strong bitter taste in my mouth and this is a primary instance and you know i i wouldn't be surprised if you know like crunchyroll were to still continue doing this shit but i mean given the reception and given like the whole controversy surrounding it um you know i like if crunchyroll were to, like were to just not do do this ever again then that'd be good you know so um what, what do you think overall my, my my biggest takeaway is so so what I see here is a lot of talented people who were given a shit plate. They uh, I, clearly there's like a lot of people who 
weren't fully equipped for what the job required. Like, I, I will say the quality of the models seems to be fine, right? Um, the, the quality of the shaders seems to be alright, the texturing work seems alright. Um, it, it seems like a lot of people just given the wrong assignments and not given enough time to do them. Uh, I, I mean, I don't blame any of the animators here. It's most likely they're probably pretty good, and especially knowing Japan's work culture of, like, constant grind and sh eating mm -hmm. shit, it, it's very... Especially taking into consideration the unbelievable low wages that they face. Yeah. Um, for, I mean, I, I, there's, there's clearly a lot of problems. It's, it's clearly not well animated, not well lit, it's not artistically pleasing to the eye. That was my biggest takeaway. Whenever I think about a scene or a... Uh, the first thing I always think about is the color palette of that scene or shot. And to mm -hmm. me... And so in my brain, there's only two scenes in this whole episode. One where he's at the school, and one where he's... Uh, I guess one where he got hit by a car, and then one where they're in the uh, ship, because there's no real color variety or diversity. It's all blues and muted grays, and... Mm -hmm. The thing is that it, it's absolutely not surprised. I, I have absolutely understand, as Tino, why people, you know, feel incre like have incredibly negative feelings towards us, because after all, like, you know, con considering that, you know, the, like, there are, like, a fantastic CG anime out there, and in comparison to this, like, this, this definitely strikes out as a, a god-awful anime, but when looking a bit more into it, you know, it is not that bad when you try taking in all aspects into consideration, but, you know, I think for me personally, like, the animation did factor a lot in my experience, yeah, like... Course. And honestly, so, so, I mean, please don't take away that I'm a Ruby fan from me bringing it up so much. God, please don't take that away from this. I, I did watch the first three seasons entirely. And so, so what Ruby does, which based on the first three seasons budget and the way they had to do things, the fight scenes were hand animated and the talking boring scenes were mo-capped, which personally, I think that's the way to go if you have very little time and money. Because if, if the fight scenes you want to be, like, the f best looking thing in your fighting anime, I get that. So you want to hand animate that. There's clearly not enough time in the day to hand animate... Hand animate? Hand animate everything. So, motion capture for the talking boring scenes, I think that's fine, and I, I honestly wish that this anime had done that. Because the talking scenes are just so boring because they're not moving. They're not doing anything, they're not expressing. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, if, uh, is there any departing words that you want to say? Um, uh, if for some reason the animators of this show are watching this, uh, I, I do hope, you know, you got paid well. I hope you guys, you know, do continue to work and improve. I would, I would genuinely like to see this studio succeed and make something really great someday. And for <laughs> anyone out there watching this, you know, like... Stop talking shit on Source Filmmaker! It's not a fucking porn program! Okay? It does more than porn! Alright? I don't need this fucking shit where it's like, Oh, you do Source Filmmaker, does that mean you do porn? Fuck off!